Hi everyone, I'm your hostess Anna Polesfoot from Team Sunwest. I go to Kindersley Composite High School or KCS. I'm in grade 11. This evening I'm interviewing Mark Tewksbury. He is an Olympic swimmer who won a medal. Where is your name? I grew up in Calgary, Alberta. And when were you born? Uh, in February. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no year. I'm going to remain timeless. Do you have siblings? I have a brother and a sister, both there. Um, what's your favorite childhood memory? Um, gosh, I think probably visiting my grandparents that lived in Tabor, Alberta, and Lethbridge, Alberta. And I used to go spend a couple of weeks with them every summer, and it was really, really nice to get to know my family. Yeah. Um, when did you start swimming? I started swimming when I was eight years old after I watched the 1976 Olympics on TV. Awesome. And why did you, like, what made you want to swim? I don't know, something about the whole world coming together, just the pageantry, the grandness of it, it just really spoke to me. And so, emotions, what emotions? Like, like, I think, so the seven, like, the whole thing, the same games. Uh, just really is an able to capture my imagination. Did you have like a favorite OVA game inspired you as well? Well, one of them was a guy named Vladimir Salvikov, this Russian swimmer that became a superstar. And I just remember him being so young at the Olympics when I watched, thinking, oh, I could get there too because he's so young. So it would take me a lot longer, a little bit right now. Okay. Um, what kind of training did you do? How long? So I trained for years and years. I started just with a local swimming club, eventually made the um, sort of national age group program, and eventually made the national team. So in total, it took me um, 16 years from when I started to actually get to the top. It's a lot of work. It's a long time. <laughs> um, and how do you feel about being in the swimming uh, Pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of ironic. I, I kind of grew up not being able to throw very well or skate or anything, so I, I kind of get a chuckle out of being in a sports hall. That's awesome. Um, and what year did you win? I won the 100 meter back stroke in 1992 in the Olympics in Barcelona. And which year was silver? I won a, so I won a, um, a bronze also in 1992, then I won a silver in 1988 as part of a relay team. Awesome. Um, what have you learned since you've been doing Olympics? Well, I've learned a lot. <laughs> what have I learned? Have we got 10 hours? Come on! Um, well, I mean, I think the Olympics itself just really teaches you to put yourself out there, try to keep any better at whatever you're doing, and uh, um, self-esteem, all that sort of good stuff. And how did your family react? They were really unhappy. They wanted me to come in. <laughs> no, of course! What do you think? They were, they were so happy! <laughs> Um, how do you feel about public speaking? Well, I really enjoyed it. I've been public speaking for about 25 years. So, think how old you are? <laughs> At 8 years? 10 years? Um, but it's been really great experience. It allowed me to travel the world and meet a lot of interesting people and share my story. And what's the funniest question you've ever been asked when you were interviewed? The funniest question? I don't know. That's a, that's a good one. I mean, I remember... Um, you know, like when I talked to grade four kids, they'd be like, how big was your bathing suit? Or, you know, like things like that. It's like, oh, okay. And do you like to consider yourself as famous? I don't think about fame at all. I don't have a really great appreciation for fame. I think it's kind of silly, especially fame for the sake of fame, like being around reality TV show person or something. Um, fame just kind of happened because I did what I liked to do and I got good at it. And uh, it's, it's a fun thing. Yeah, I, I guess I am, but I don't really like to pay too much attention to it. And do people recognize you like walking down the street and saying, hey, who's that guy? They go, hey, aren't you the swimmer? Or aren't you that guy from Howard's Lane? Or aren't you? Yeah, it still happens to this day. Even awesome. walking to the airport in Saskatoon today. That's awesome. And is there anything else you want to add to me? I guess a finishing statement. Sure, I think it's amazing that you're involved as a student and it's great to find things that engage you and eventually hopefully lead to making a profession. Good luck. Thank you. And thank you for being here today. Thank you for being here today. I'm waking up to action dust I wipe 
my brow and I sweat my rust I'm breathing in